السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم ٹو حسیب الیکٹرانکس فرینڈس ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دس بورڈ 17 پی ڈبلیو 26-4 سو دس بورڈ از یوزڈ فرام 30 انچ ٹو 42 انچ ایل ای ڈی ایل سی ڈی ٹی ویز اینڈ ڈفرینٹ ٹی وی سرکٹس ان آور دس سیشن وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دس زیرو وولٹ سوئچنگ پاور سپلائی زیڈ وی ایس power supply it is using fan double seven double one ic this is part four of this series in first part we studied input filter and protection circuits in second step we studied smps mod power supply that is standby power supply it generates 3.3 volt and 5 volt and it also generates biasing power supply for the other board this power supply is basic power supply it generates the voltage for other system to bias up this board after that we discussed resonant mod pfc power factor corrector from this bridge rectifier we take 330 volt plus through this diode it charge this capacitor then we have this circuit it will make switching and in the result of this switching these diodes will rectify voltage and it will maintain 390 volt to 400 volts mainly it's named 400 volt from here 330 330 and the above voltage level will be maintained from this circuit so links of this these videos we discussed in diagram and we discussed in practical circuit so this video is slightly difficult because here it was using smps switch mode power supply here it was using resonant mode and now we have this section is zero volt switching mode zero volt switch mode so zvs smps resonant and zvs so we will discuss this power supply and this power supply have some special safeties we will discuss them we will just touch them today in this video and we will discuss in our next session the control circuit and the safety circuits so let's start i will share the links of these videos these sessions in the description you can watch to follow up this session and after watching this video if this video will good for you you can subscribe it is up to you and if you want to watch my future videos you can press bell icon button if you want otherwise thanks for watching so let's start first of all we will see the diagram and then we will keep touching this board because today we will just uh, touch the diagram and in next session we will apply voltage and we will check the practical circuits if we see here this ic basically this ic is fan 7711 it is fairchild and blast control ic it is used in tube lamps because it have zero volt switching mode it have two outputs it have ground pin cph capacitor preheating it is to soft to make a start signal and rt this resistor is installed here to drive to select the output frequency at what range of frequency we want to operate this ic that will be defined by these values of resistor and capacitor 
VDD is, uh, we can say it is bising voltage and then it have two power supplies in outside. One is high, volt, high side voltage power supply and low, low side voltage power supply because this IC have two sections. Low side output, high side output. So it will operate, it will switch the main voltage we apply. It is a typical circuit. It is its typical application. How this IC is used? We apply main voltage, main rectified voltage to the MOSFET. This is our bridge rectifier MOSFET. And in first session, in high side drive, this IC will drive this gate and the positive voltage will apply it to this transformer. So we will take output. When the first pulse will go away, the second pulse will be applied here. In that time, this end is collected to ground. The same time, this MOSFET will operate and it will connect the ground side to the coil and it will neutralize this coil. So it will reduce, it will rectify, it will ground, it will make zero the collapsing mag magnetic field voltage. When we applied voltage from here current flow from the primary and it will cause to expand the magnetic field. So it will cause build magnetic field and to induce voltage in the secondary. When the second cycle will come here it will work opposite to each other. When this will on it will connect this line here. I will just drive as a symbol of transistor so it will easy to understand. We applied 400 volt this cycle and we have another MOSFET. At that time this is silent. So I disconnected from the circuit. So 400 volt will cause to flow the current from the transformer and we will take some output in the first half cycle in the first portion of the pulse from high side drive so it will cause to conduct and it will generate flux it will cause induction in the secondary side we received voltage. Now when this pulse will go away our this circuit when this pulse is off now we have pulse here in the low side in the low side drive. From the first pulse here was magnetic field. When this pulse removed applied pulse here this magnetic field will collapse. When it will collapse it will generate voltage opposite to applied voltage in opposite polarity. What will happen? In the first condition it was negative this was positive. Now when the magnetic field will collapse, this end will become positive, this end will become negative. So, what will happen? The positive side is grounded and this MOSFET is conducted because it received a drive pulse here. So, it will apply ground to the coil and it will neutralize. When it is neutral, there is a sense circuit which will, which will intimate to the IC that 
the circuit have zero volt in the coil so in that case this circuit will active in first pulse when this pulse is active it will generate voltage at that time this circuit is off now this circuit is on it will again discharge the winding on off on off this will behavior of this IC here in the circuit so let's see the circuit we have this IC fan double seven double one IC pin number one is ground pin number four is grounded pin number four is grounded pin number three is CPH this capacitor pin number two is RT total resistance it is frequency adjustment terminal this capacitor preheating and we have VDD now our circuit will connect it with some conditions this is VCC because any chip any IC any component which have to function it will need VCC voltage so we need VCC in this IC we have VCC one signal VCC one signal it is applied to pin number one IC 830 pin number one and it is also connected to pin number 8 now we have to see this power VCC1 voltage how we can receive VCC1 this signal is coming from anywhere else let's see when I was discussing the switch mode power supply standby voltage when our this IC IC 806 IC 806 will start switching and it will generate some voltage and these voltage will be rectified from the diode from here and we will receive this voltage at C801 801 capacitor is here this capacitor will charge and we will receive when this IC will start switching this is auxiliary winding of the standby section we will receive voltage from this diode and we will receive voltage at C801 so C801 is here and we will receive a signal that is called VF main VF main signal so VF main signal will you will find this diagram in my description I will give the link in my Google Drive you can find this diagram over there and you can download it to follow this session so this VF main voltage this voltage from this capacitor will apply to this transistor this transistor Q844 it will receive voltage and it will receive on off signal now we need, we need VF main we have VF main and we need on off signal on off signal we have to see here VF main signal is here and it is applied to this base of this transistor if VF main voltage are ok it will be signal will be applied here and the VCC1 feedback will connect it to this transistor as well and the same time we have 12 V2 12 V2 signal let's come here again to the standby section when we take output we have 12 V2 this signal here before this regulator we receive voltage 
before this regulator here is 5 volt regulator this point from after this diode we receive voltage and this 5 volt regulator is here IC829 this is 5 volt regulator we will receive this voltage from here IC829 it is IC829 and we will take voltage from this point it is its name is 12V2 we have 12V2 we have 3.3 volt from the same power supply if these two power supplies from power supply standby section 12 volt and 3.3 volt are ok and we have standby signal standby signal when this standby power supply will turn on and our board is connected to the motherboard the main board of the TV set at that time pin number 6 will be grounded this will receive ground from the motherboard of the TV set so pin number 6 will ground it so this ground will apply to this pin standby signal actual it is a ground signal so when we will receive ground this transistor will biased so we will take voltage and all safeties will be applied to this optocoupler this optocoupler will connect this ground line to on off signal so to generate on off signal first we can see how many safeties we need first our this IC should switching correctly we receive voltage and the output section 12 volt section is working good so we will receive 12 volt here from the output and 3.3 volt is safe it have no short circuit from this section so we will receive 3.3 volt and when the power supply is connected to TV motherboard then it will allow to turn on the next circuit so it is safety we can say our power supply must be connected to the motherboard of TV set the main board of TV set so when all safeties are ok this IC is working proper DL321 our this section is working ok we have proper feedback voltage from the auxiliary winding and these voltage are applied here and that time all supplies are ok motherboard is connected we will receive this signal from this optocoupler it will 0.5 volt here and 0.5 volt 0.6 volt from this transistor so we can say we will take approximately 1 volt from the ground so this signal will apply it to the R893 and it will connect to this transistor so in that case we will receive this voltage this switched voltage we can say our this transistor is working as a relay our this transistor is working as a relay it is making switching so VF main actually now we can see very in just block our this power supply is working ok standby section is perfect and ok first safety second safety the motherboard is connected to this power supply at that time we will receive this voltage and we will receive now approximately 12 volt 13 volt at this VCC pin so this VCC now will reach here at VCC 1 pin so to generate VCC 
what we need first of all we need we need vf main this voltage dl321 ic working good what is this this is our standby power supply if standby power supply is working perfectly we will receive this voltage it is 10 volt 12 volt 15 volt whatsoever these voltage are here then we need on off signal this will included here we can see it is a summing point to make on off signal we need VCC uh, sorry VF main VF main we need 12 V1 it should be okay we need 3.3 volt it should be okay we need standby signal what is that power supply board is connected to motherboard so we have these safeties if anything is not completed incomplete we will not get this signal if 12 volt we can say 5 volt section is out of limit 3.3 volt is loaded we have some short circuit here we have have some short circuit in standby power our standby power supply is not correct this signal will not generate it if it is available if our this section is not available we will not find the on off signal when our on off signal will not find available so we cannot take vcc1 voltage so we can say any signal here is missing from any one of signal is missing we cannot find voltage our pin number 4 is connected to ground pin number 8 high side power supply is available at that time we have to see something more we have 400 volt applied to this MOSFET where are these two MOSFETs these are here here is Q813 and 814 Q813 is here and Q814 is here so we have these two MOSFETs 1, 2 813, 814 813, 814 and here is IC fan 7711 so here we have IC830 so now we have this 400 volt connected to this MOSFET if we see here is capacitor positive terminal this positive terminal is connected through a jumper and it is connected to this MOSFET 1 and 2 813 814 so this is connected to the second MOSFET and it is connected to the transformer transformer pin number 1 is blank 2 3 is blank 4 is connected to the MOSFET center point drain and source 5 number 6 is sense pin number 7 is blank number 8 is connected to ground this line is connected to ground so our this transformer will take drive between pin number 8 and 4 pin number 8 is connected to ground pin number 4 is connected to here so now we will see how this will connect ground 
this ground line from here from here 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 we have jumper J162 J161 these two jumpers will connect ground first this positive supply will connect it to this transformer here we have two drive signals the first drive signal this IC second drive signal is for this size this MOSFET it will control the gate ground gate is here we have this by resistors and diodes to make switching in the first cycle it will connect the voltage to pin number 4 400 volt because from here it will take 400 positive voltage and it will connect to this transfer it will make switching when this pulse will shift it to this MOSFET this 400 volt will disconnect it and it will connect this ground to this winding this end is already grounded it will connect ground to this pin so it will de-energize and at the next pulse when it will swap to here it will again start to build magnetic fields one will excite the second will de-energize so it will maintain this switching and next we have this logic circuit this logic circuit we will discuss in our forthcoming session because it will go too much long now we will just only see the feedback circuit pin number 8 is connected to ground 4 number pin is connected to the center of these MOSFETs 400 volt will connect it to this transformer and ground we will receive output voltage in the first pulse it will start switching when it will start switching we have some voltage here in the output what is that we have different windings 1, 2, 3 first is 24 volt 2 sections the first section is 24 plus 24 volt 2 sections the second is 12 volt here we have a set of rectifiers different rectifiers because this board is used in different configurations from 30 inch to 42 inch so it have different sections this time we are using this section this short key it is 20 C 20 Q 100 CTP 20 Q 100 CTP 1 2 3 20 Q 100 CTP 20 ampere 20 ampere 100 volt so it is used so here we will receive positive voltage output here is AC here is AC so inside we have 10 ampere diode this side and this 10 ampere diode this side if this component is bad you find most of the time we find these type of problems so you have to replace with two diodes take two diodes 10 ampere 100 volt short key 10 ampere 100 volt and you can connect it like this two diodes in this way so you will replace the function of this component when it will rectify we have three capacitors here actually physically now this time in this configuration we have so our this capacitor is here 24 volt uh, capacitor so we will receive voltage 24 volt BO from this section after a while we will receive 24 volt 
we are receiving 12 volts after rectifier here 24 volt bo and 24 sorry 12 volt bo 12 volts in the output the same voltage are applied the same voltage are applied here in the feedback circuit 24 volt 24 volt bo 24 12 volt 20, 12 volt bo and 24 volt from the second section 24 volt from first section 24 volt section second section 12 volt 12 volt we have five power supplies here one two three four five these five sense lines are connected to here one two three four five if all power supplies are within range working properly that time the summing point voltage will generate a voltage difference between some of these power supplies resulting sum of this power supplies and 24 volt it will cause to switch this transistor at that time this ground level will connect it to from pin number 3 transistor and it will connect it to this resistor R870 and it will connect frequency signal its name is frequency it is just only for identification actual this point is connected to pin number 2 when it will be connected to pin number 2 here we have this resistor 47k pin number 2 have resistance 47 K second side it have resistance that is 5.1 K 5 K 1 and it have a photo transistor activated by a photodiode and here is 24 volt 12 volt sense circuit if all circuits are ok it will connect signal and it will connect this ground to this resistor and it is connected to IC pin number 2 what will happen first it was just only this optocoupler was open that time just only one resistor was connected to pin number 2 now 5.1k resistor this and when this will connect it here this junction will have some resistance we can say it have 42k suppose 42 plus 5 47k we can say when the circuit will work properly that time we will receive two sec two resistors in parallel so it will adjust the frequency output frequency of the IC because this IC is not pulse width modulator it is VCO it will generate a frequency when we receive VCC VCC voltage the same VCC voltage will apply to pin number 1 applied to pin number 8 same time this voltage is connected as a off 1 signal this off 1 signal is connected to this network I will discuss shortly when this circuit is connected here it is connected to this MOSFET when this first pulse passed here we will receive a vo voltage from the auxiliary winding of this transformer of this transformer from pin number 2 pin number 1 is blank this is pin number 2 and we will receive some voltage it is now its name is VFB V feedback so this feedback voltage will receive here and they will be rectified after rectification they will make biasing for this transistor and same time I will just only discuss in very short words because it is going too much complicated we will, dis we will discuss this circuit separately we received feedback we receive some voltage for as a feedback voltage from the auxiliary winding of this transformer so that it will ensure the circuit is working 
same time we have VCC1 if this VCC1 supply bison supply is okay and our transformer first pulse is switched and transistor first transistor is cut off the second MOSFET is now started working at that time its ZVS zero voltage sense circuit will activate and it will pass some voltage level to this transistor after a complete making a reference it will connect here if everything is okay and switch off signal is not available that means the circuit should work properly so when it will work properly this MOSFET will remain off when it is off this IC will keep working anyone will press the remote button so we will receive this off signal here when we will receive off signal here it will cause to operate this MOSFET Q837 will switch and it will cause to down the VCC level when the VCC level will down because it will be grounded through these resistors at that time the VCC level of this pin will off and it will cause to turn off the power supply so we can say there are a complete setup to turn off the system immediately if we receive remote on command this power supply will go in off state why when it was power on there was some display on the screen and anyone press the remote button to turn off this power supply so it will receive off one signal so off one signal will cause to turn off power supply if we have short circuit in 3.3 volt the VCC voltage will not available VCC1 so this power supply will the display will go off immediately if we have 5 volt section bad we see we will miss this voltage if our connector is not connected to motherboard we will not receive this voltage so if we have any failure in 24 volt our frequency signal will fail in that case our off one signal will be generated and it will turn off the power supply then we have 12 volt section fail 24 volt section fail anything we have in problem it will cause to increase the feedback voltage so it will disturb and it will turn off the power supply immediately in next session we will see it practically and we will disturb this voltage in next session we will disturb voltage and we will see the result practically and what are the physical components we will discuss in our forthcoming video I hope so this video is good for you if it is good you can subscribe if you want and if you want to watch my future videos press bell icon button if you want thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh